So today I bring you further details on what's coming to the world of Borderlands including further details on the patch arriving with takedown at Madawan's black site and much much more. How's it going guys my name's DPG and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like truly helps me out and if you want to stay up to date with the latest on all Borderlands 3 be sure to subscribe. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen and good luck. Okay so the latest Borderlands 3 stream revealed many new things about the game. I've already made a trailer breakdown which looks amazing by the way. But right now I bring you further details about the latest patch. What this includes, updates on the game, the free event and much more so let's go. Go and starting with Madeline's black site and the patch that comes along with it and the many changes of the aspects of the game it brings. Take down at Madeline's black site is a brand new raid style challenge tuned for coordinated co-op parties of four max level characters with restricted respawning to make the opposition that much deadlier. The all new Mayhem 4 puts a spin on the Mayhem mode by removing all player penalties and instead applying just two random modifiers. One that applies a bonus to players and one that applies a bonus to enemies. It also offers its own exclusive batch of legendary gear that will only drop while Mayhem 4 is enabled. This patch also brings along the following changes. All bosses will have dedicated loot pools, so you can more efficiently farm the converted legendary items. Maximum bank space will be upgraded from 50 people to 300. Craziness, 300 spaces, oh yes, I could, just, just, just amazing, just amazing. As usual, SDUs that boost your bank size can be purchased from markers aboard Sanctuary 3. A test dummy wearing a very familiar mask will be installed in Sanctuary 3's shooting range so you can safely test out your weapons. New vending machines will be deployed across multiple maps. Players will notice overall UI performance improvements. Uh, these performance improvements consist of, and they eliminate a lot of hitching while navigating the inventory menu, as well as various inventory menu UI optimizations and general UI performance updates. These improvements also apply to split screen co-op. Mayhem 4, this is a slightly different approach to the random modifiers from Mayhem 1, 2 and 3. In the original 3 modes, players had to deal with negative modifiers like minus 30% damage with an increased to something else. Gearbox are removing the negative penalties that apply to players. Like I said earlier, there will be two random modifiers. One which applies to players and the other one which applies to enemies. And also a batch of new legendary gear will drop only in Mayhem 4 to reward those players who are truly up to the challenge. Long term though, with Mayhem and what's happening, Gearbox have plans to overhaul Mayhem with more UI support, new Mayhem modifiers that change gameplay more dramatically, Mayhem playlists, new rewards and additional levels of Mayhem to work through. This is currently called Mayhem 2.0 and we'll hear more about this next year when it's closer to release. So some decent stuff right there, people coming with the patch arriving with or before takedown at Malavan's black site, which comes on Thursday, which I cannot wait for people. So moving on to additional details under December DLC, Mox's heist on the handsome jackpot. Now I've made a trailer breakdown already, which you will find linked within the video description if you do want to check it out and missed it earlier. So basics of this DLC and more are as follows. Mox is recruiting you to seize control of a derelict space station built by the infamous handsome Jack when he was still president of the Hyperion Corporation. The handsome jackpot is quite possibly the godliest gambling spot in the galaxy with neon light slot machines and gold statues all over the place. It's also crawling with multiple models of deadly Hyperion loader bots, as well as lunatic looters who've been trapped on board ever since Jack's death. But that's not all. Explore a glitzy new galaxy destination packed with unique zones worthy of Handsome Jack's lavish lifestyle and dirty dealings. Join Mox's crew of eccentric characters to pull off the ultimate casino heist in a series of thrilling campaign missions. Get a blast from Pandora's past when you battle the Hyperion forces that outlived Handsome Jack, including never before seen enemies and larger than life bosses. Perfect your Vault Hunter's gear loadout with the all new legendary weapons and gear. Expand your collection of cosmetics with even more customization items, including Vault Hunter heads and skins, 
weapon trinkets, an Echo Device skin, and new emotes. Max's heist and the handsome jackpot is tuned for characters who are at least a level 13, but will automatically scale up so that high level vault hunters can find a challenge and appropriately powerful loot. In order to access this content, you'll need to have unlocked Sanctuary 3, your space firing home base that you reach at the end of the campaign's prologue. So yeah guys, those are the additional details on the December DLC released December 19th, Max's heist on the handsome jackpot. So yeah guys, great great times ahead with Borderlands. Now take down that Maliwan's black site arrives tomorrow, Thursday 21st, I do believe, and I cannot wait. This patch will drop with or just before then, applying many, many new instances to the game like Mayhem 4, like I've covered. We get the all-new free event, offering new exclusive legendaries, and so much more. And as always, guys, I will have all your Borderlands free needs covered right here on my channel. So if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you do enjoy the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one